Hello everyone, Belly Tim here. Welcome back to the A through Z playthrough. You want to see my notes for Zul? This is all of it. It fits on one page, almost. I use a really big font. Uh, Zul was released to the game on March 1st, 2016. Right now, his win rate is 49.5%. He has a 3.2% popularity, which means he's the ninth least popular character in the game. He has received one update in all of 2018, and it was at the beginning of the year, making him the character to go the second longest without receiving updates. Of course, we know Vala was number four, and Meridian was number one. Uh, but basically, the only updates that happened was they gave him 100 more health and 0.2 more, more health regen. We got six more attack damage. Our skeletal warriors got weaker in both damage and health. Uh, the cooldown of our bone prism was reduced by two seconds. And, uh, dude, it's just like nothing. They're just like, Zul's done. We're not going to change Zul. He's perfect. We're not going to change anything. Uh, we've invited viewers to play with us today. I've already let them know. They already know that I'm a salty piece of shit. They knew what they were walking into. Okay. So if I just start fucking yelling at somebody, all right. If I start yelling at somebody, they signed up for it. <laughs> All right. I'm not the bad guy here. <laughs> Wish us luck, team. We're going to need it. I don't know how to play this character, dude. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves on Warhead Junction today. The friendly team, if you didn't see it earlier, is Zul, Lucio, Lunara, Arthas, and Imperius. These are all viewers that once again signed up for me to fucking yell at them. Look, they're already trolling me. He's like, we put off the nukes in the middle lane, right? The enemy team, Varian, Kelthos, Abathur, Chromi, and Alex Straza. I still don't know what the Abathur changes are, but my god, he seems strong. His healing talent at 13 the other day, uh, I was going up against an Anubarak Abathur, right? Anubarak Abathur. Fucking, I couldn't get through Anubarak shields to save my life, and then Abathur was just healing him. It was the most busted thing I've ever seen. Um, I was playing Lunara, in fact. And I quite literally could not get through the shield. The poison damage was not enough to get through the shields of that combo. It was ridiculous. All right, entire team's here in the middle lane. We do have minions approaching. I'm backing up. That fight ain't for me. Zul's abilities. He has the spectral scythe. You throw it forward, it comes back. It, well, I guess you kind of set where it starts, and then it comes back. Your W ability turns all of your auto attacks into these massive cleaves, which is really, really fun, and where the majority of our damage is going to go today. Our E ability is a point-and-click root that forms after a while. It kind of makes like a gloomy and doomy sound, and then it, and then it kills it. You know, it roots them, then they're probably going to die. We can clear out these mines real easy. I've seen a lot of infest builds like nest abathers lately. I'm a little afraid that's what we're going against, but it kind of doesn't look like it. Look at that lane clear, boys. Now, common strategies with Zul used to just be dual soaking lanes, right? So on smaller maps like Blackheart's Bay, how the top lane and the middle lane are so very close together, it would not be uncommon at all to have a Zul soak both the top and the middle lane while your rest of the team is out doing other things. Oh, I didn't mention our trait. Whenever minions die nearby, uh, we summon in spooky, scary skeletons. I don't think I understand. I need this region glow. Middle is still not missing. Who is missing? Chromie? Go ahead and give myself a shield. Trying to get this tower down. Trying to get the tower down. Trying to get the tower down. Come on! Team lag. Oh, hold, hold. I'm back. <laughs> Do you see what I mean about the shields for Abathur now? It's like I don't. They're so big. I don't know how to get. I don't. I keep making plays based on like what I think survivability Abathur brings to the table. And it just doesn't work. Sorry, team. That was real bad. Uh, if Lunar and I could focus on this guy real fast, he will be dead. And he moved up!
You love to see it. You love to see it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Boy. Ah! Ah! Ruin him! Ruin him! Ruin him! Ruin him! I can't because I'm fucking taunted for the rest of my goddamn life. Fuck! Get me out of here. Uh, we can win this. Let me let me sippy. Let me sippy. Let me sippy. Arfis is getting that. Imperius is getting top right. We're gonna get three of these nukes, dude, and it's gonna be dope. I'm taunted. Can't move. It's okay. He's super duper slow. Once again, the Abathur top hat is on him. The roots going out again. We killed the king. Yo, if that guy smashed, he could have killed me there, but he didn't. All right, we got our first nuke down here in the bottom lane. Actually, we, I guess Imperius already shot his off. Maybe he died. And get, no, we got it, we got it. I don't know where he shot it. Uh, but we should be able to finish this off, no problem. The uh, enemy team's Alex Straza, Harthing right there. Now, I do feel as though Zagara and Zul lost their purpose quite a bit in this game when the tower changes kind of went into play. Zul's main objective b before, like I said, he would dual soak a lot, but he would also just kind of run multiple lanes out of tower ammunition very, very quickly. That was kind of his thing. He could always keep his lane pushed so he could make your minions and your lanes more valuable. And when they removed tower ammunition, I feel like he lost a little bit of his, his identity. Uh, I really, I really do. I kind of don't want to fight this though. Are we fighting? What are we fighting over? All right, I'm back it up. I'm back it up. I'm gonna start working on top lane. I already pushed my lane in. I'll, I'll just push top. Uh, so I don't really feel like they ever gave him anything back. You know what I mean? Zagara, they kind of redesigned. Zagara, we'll talk about it in a few videos, uh, but she was made into less of a lane bully, less of a lane pusher, and more of just like a back lane damage dealer. At least that's what their intention with the character was. Um, you can argue how successful that was, right? But they, they at least tried to redesign her a little bit, and they went back and they changed some of the Vikings' talents to make them a little bit more, uh, less focused on just running towers out of ammunition. Uh, but overall, I don't know. I feel like they need to take another look at Zul. I'm keeping my eye on the minimap. The team's doing a great job of keeping everyone on the enemy team in the middle lane. And uh, I am going to get top, which is free XP. Kel'Thas is coming up now, but I think it's too late. The whole team's coming up now. It was the perfect hiding spot, man. It was perfect. They never knew. How could they? They didn't have vision. Middle lane is still popping off as the fight continues. Arthas has been taken down. Lunara is starting to reinforce us here, but we are going to lose our Imperius to the damage of Chromie. Chromie, of all things. Now, the top variant is actually really fucking annoying for any kind of auto attack build. Uh, because he is silencing you. Uh, very similar mechanics to how Butcher works. We heal from our auto attacks because we're going W build. So I need to be able to cleave the enemy team down efficiently in order to live. And if Varian can taunt me before I activate Curse Strikes, that sucks. That's really, really bad for me. Really, really bad for me. Um, we are getting the bottom nuke no problem. Looks like Arthas and Lucio going up to the top one. If we lose that top building, it's not the end of the world. I'm going to ping for some assistance here. Wait, what's going on? Oh, Chromie's there. Fuck. I had no idea. I saw her dancing around, uh, but Chromie was never revealed on the minimap when I was looking. I also don't know which ult I want. Probably mages. I'll probably take mages. I mean, top lane, they're pushing a, a, a fort right now, and I'm sure they feel really good about that, but we have the potential to get a keep down here in the bottom lane right now, boys. We're looking at a keep situation. We're playing for keeps. I will help them take this over really fast, mainly because we already started it. And I hate to leave things unfinished, even though I know they reset. Oh, that mini wave got demolished. We do have a catapult. These catapults are spawning from the fort. 
being taken down. Every three waves, you get a catapult. Looks like the enemy Avatar did not go for Mule, which is great news. I cannot believe Avatar received changes and Mule is still in the game, to be honest with you. That blows me away. We're going to go ahead and drop these skeletal mages right here. Those will pretty much body block anything that walks through it and deal damage to anyone at the same time as well. Uh, we could take this right now. Pretty easy. The enemy team wants to, or the friendly team wants to. I think it's a great idea. If I could stop standing in poison. <laughs> I took so much damage there for no reason. Uh, Kael'thas is coming. I'm gonna chill over here. Everything's fine, everything's fine. Everything's not fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine, boys. Uh-oh. Let's go. Let's go, bud. I don't know if I win this or not. I have no fucking clue. I'm completely out of mana. If I had more mana, I could have won that. Just let the record show. I don't know how to play Zul, boys. I don't know if you caught up on to that yet. I don't play Zul. When he was released into the game, he was the most busted, overpowered fucking character. I mean, you guys think you have it bad with Genji? Imagine fighting Zul that never runs out of mana, cleaves your entire team down, and has more health than half the fucking tanks in the game, and heals every time he swings. We could have a full party just sitting there attacking Zul, and he wouldn't give a fuck. He would just live through everything. He doesn't care. I didn't get too much done. I mean, it's weaker for the next nuke, I guess, but didn't it didn't get too much done. That's one of the reasons I think it's so weird that he hasn't been changed since like this year. It's because like he was so focused on he was nerfed into oblivion and became focused on split pushing and clearing lanes really quickly. He wasn't a super tanky character anymore. He was one that could like control the macro game right that's kind of what he became but then when the 2.0 changes in and the macro changed Zul didn't change why didn't you interrupt this at all you were in the lane what are you doing I just gave him a nuke okay I'm heading out of the bottom lane Lunara once again with another nuke in hand we are heading for a tier 2 structure right now so after he got changed, so, or after the game changed to be less about, you know, constant minion pressure and stuff, he wasn't changed. Boys, that's some skeletons right on top. Oh, I just got pyroblasted. What the fuck? All right, we're pushing in, we're pushing in, we're pushing in. I'm cleaving, I'm cleaving, I'm cleaving. Here we go. These guys are going to be making the building weaker. I don't know, do we keep going? I don't know, team. I don't know if we keep going. Oh, we fired off the nuke. We leave, we leave, we leave, we leave, we leave. We got their nuke. That was super fucking valuable. I don't think we can get the building. Hopefully I don't die to Abathur Mines. I really hope not. Doesn't look like it, not today. So every time I hit something with these swings, by the way, uh, we get more attack speed now. So basically, we're a lane clearing machine. And if you can get me into How's a team fight, going, Pally? good. If you can get me into a team fight and I can actually cleave enemy heroes down, it's a pretty impressive amount of healing. Now that we're level 13. The Bone Spear coming out at 16 just gives me even more AOE clear. It's the main reason we picked it up. Trying to figure out which way to go to cut this guy off. It's going to be right here. I'll put those down. I don't give a fuck. It's just a cooldown. It's just a cooldown, boys. Now they don't have their tank. Boop him. Ah, good try. Uh-oh. Ah, that was fine. There was no drama there. Region globe right here. I'll get you another one too. 
Look at that lane clear, boys. I don't really think we can make too much of a play with Varian dead, but we can at least put pressure on middle, maybe get more passive catapults going. That might be our best play. He's kind of far up here. There we go. Hey, remember when I had thought I had my five month already? Well, here's it. Did he live through that because of the Abathur? She can hearth out when she's rooted? Okay, back up, back up. They're popping everything. They're popping everything. Let's get out of here. They literally have no, no cooldowns to defend nukes with. We just wait for these to run out and we go right the fuck back in. Thank you. Chromie's getting out again. Okay, I guess she has that cooldown. Here's another route. I'm just gonna keep focusing Barry. I have to keep swinging. There we go, one down. Now we grab all the fucking nukes. And then we go kill all of their fucking buildings. At least, you know, the core probably. We probably just kill the core, you know. The important one. Oh. What a good ability that you have. I couldn't make it to the region globe in time, but he doesn't win this. He's already used Pyroblast. Oh, Lunar stuff. Thanks for all you do, Pally. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We might need Imperious Bottom, boys. No Chromies here? Uh oh! Sacrifice those ghouls, man. Sacrifice them. Shit. So, I think the only thing Lucio could be doing better in these is when he sees Chromie charging up for these attacks. Just give her a little boop. Oh, well, so much for those nukes. We're pretty far ahead on buildings. I'm not too worried. Like,. Like when Chromie's about to buy bye, you can go up and boop her. Since none of our roots seem to work, the only things we really have for it are the boop and the stun from Imperius. That's the only way we can can control the bye bye at all. Which kind of sucks. It's kind of stupid she could do that while she's rooted. She's already like one of the furthest hitting enemies in the game. Give me a little bit more counterplay, you know. I'm gonna try to cleave this down. We'll go ahead and use my bone shield. Get a little bit of map pressure versus these guys. Uh, speaking of map pressure, I gotta go clean top. So please be careful. Nice, 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 nice. Not beautiful. Beautiful kill. Make sure this doesn't get any value. We're almost 20 and we have one nuke. Look at this cleave, dude. Oh, we just lost someone. We lost our Lucia. Probably do a Pyroblast. Shit. Um, I'm gonna pick up... Um... Probably Mortal Wound. See if we can actually focus down anyone on this enemy fucking team. If they can't get healing from Alex Strazen. Boy, you fucked up. How to tell when you fucked up, 101. I need to make sure I'm using this bone spear off cooldown. Put down some skeletal mages, I don't give a shit. Keep them back and keep us pushing. Keep them back and keep us pushing. Is root? Oh god! Oh, we gotta move. That's a lot of damage. Oh my goodness! 
Woo. Okay, we only lost one. That's okay. They still have Abathur down. I'm going to stay near our little Lucio. Take care of me, bud. We're getting value top. Chromie's having to fucking deal with it. There's the dragon. We don't have Lunara. We don't have Lunara. Chromie's here. Dude, I'm out of mana all the fucking time. Okay, we're rotating back around, back around, back around, back around. That's a clone. Lunara's back. This is the real one. Just channel, just channel, just channel. They're just buying time right now. Get top, get top. And then we get boss, and then we win top. Capture this mercenary camp. Easy fucking game, easy fucking life. Come save me first, though. We don't even need top now. We don't even need top. We go core. We go core. We go core. Where'd she go? She's around here somewhere. We can push this in. Varian being dead for 50 just opened like we there's like no urgency now. We can kind of just play this slow. Nuke. Focus. Let's go boys. We got this. We got this. And that's how you play Zul! Team did great. Team did great. I'm not a salty piece of shit. <laughs> Free great day. <laughs> we did this one live on Twitch because I just wrapped up recording all of the Dark Souls episodes for Bruno's Journey. So if you guys are fans of that series, it's over. 28 episodes, 29, 28, 29, 28. I'm going 28 episodes. Felt really good to finish it. I needed to get this video done. We just jump right in and we finish it off. Hope you enjoyed Zul. Uh, like I said, he hasn't been changed in a while, and I think he is in dire need of an update, actually. Backlash into Grim Scythe, Harvest Vitality, Skeletal Mages, Rapid Harvest, Bone Spear, Mortal Wound at level 20. I didn't really talk about my 20 too much. So enemy, any enemy hit by my Scythe, which is my Q, receives less healing. 75% less healing for four seconds. And the Scythe only has an eight-second cooldown. So you only have four seconds of downtime there. Considering how much healing Abathur, or I guess mitigation, I don't know if Abathur actually picked up any healing talents, but how much uh, punishment Varian was taking in that game because of his team, I just wanted a way to try to counter that a little bit, and I think it worked out pretty good. Uh, thank you all for watching. Up next, we do have Yorel. Take care. See you next time.